So first episode is gonna be my man Toast. I knew my man for like 10 years. He been getting popping. I watched him grow from you know this unknown artist to really doing his thing, man, getting popping, you know, to doing stuff with the with the hottest dudes out there. And I mean Philly, you know, Jersey, New York, and I mean, you know, you know, the new new Robbie Rob um uh, mixtape. So um, like I said, the first episode is gonna be my man Toast, man, and y'all gonna love it. It's a it's a spotlight show for all the hustlers out there, all the dudes grinding, getting that money. You know what I mean, and that's what it is. So stay tuned, cause we doing it, man. From now on, like I said, it's gonna be four episodes. Now to 2019, 2019, probably gonna give y'all like 10, 15 episodes, man. So you know, just stay tuned. Park Ave Weez, Instagram at Park Ave Weez. You know, uh, I don't really be on Facebook. You know, Facebook Park Ave Weez, Marsh. I mean, you know, and um, that's what it is, man. So stay tuned. Check it out. It's going down. World's Park Ave Weez. Welcome to another episode of Certified Hustler. On this week's show. I got my man, Top Flight. Hey, and I mean, hey, you know, hey. my man, what can I say, man? From 2010, <laughs> we've all been doing it all, man. You know, we met, man, you know, it was crazy. Him and, and you know, his homie Nate, the landlord, came through, dropped the card off. The next the next month, I booked him. Crazy. Came through, blew the doors off, man, you know, and he been- we Kind of padlocked, you know, man. He, <laughs> he, been, um, he been on five or six, man, you know, so, um, Top flight, man. You know, it's definitely good to see you, brother. What's up, man? Yeah, I mean, you? you know, so we gonna start from the beginning, man. You know, um, man, this is this is it, right? Right, here. right. This straight is the yeah. beginning. Man, true I, beginning. Right. I wish we still was here now, you know. Um, but um, when I first met you in 2010, man, like, how many shows, you know, before? I know that was the beginning, you know. So yeah. tell, tell the people, man. Um, 2010. That was when I did the show with you. That was literally my fourth time on stage. Wow. Wow. What's up, world? Episode three. Got my man Funny Mike, one of the top niggas that ever hit my stage, man. You know what I mean? We met back in like 2010. Came through, time, right? Bro. Came through and just killed it, bro. Yeah, I mean, that was it. You know 2010. I mean, you know? That was the year we was prostitute. But we changed our life to film Jesus. That ain't our business. We can talk about what you talking about. Right, right. Um, yeah, so, so man, when I met you, bro, when I met you in 2010, man, you know how. You was just getting in the comedy, or you know, what was going just on back then? Just getting in and just getting my feet wet. I was tired of being a prostitute, little you know, male bitch, you know. I was, I ain't gonna lie, I did what I could do, you know. All women, though. Right, right. And then I started being funny with it. Met you, came down to the room, the bowling alley job. Right. That let me know, and that really was my first signature check. I right. lied to you, told you I was doing stuff, but that's what they told me to say. Food is lovely. Thank you. Um, I wanna ask you, I mean, Jury line is doing it, you know. We was just down south, practically sold out, doing anything for a while. Like, what made you want to get into the jury game and sell your own jury? Well, actually, my best friend, um, she told me about Papa Dot C Jury Line. Right. And she wanted me to join her team. Right. Um, she told me about the website. I went on her website and I seen a jury. Okay. And it was beautiful, it's affordable. It's fashionable. Right, right. Um, definitely, I like it. It goes with basically everyday women's attire. Right. So I joined her team. It's a freshly new business. It's called Adore Gems. Right. I started in March. That's a dope name, so. Thank you. All right, right. <laughs> Body crazy, shoes on 11, you the shit, supposed to be, with me. Anybody that inspires you, anybody out there right now that's, that's doing something that make you want to go hard or just, you know? I mean, there's a lot of people out there, it's inspiration everywhere, but right. just to look at the paparazzi line and what they bring. What's up world, this is Park Ave Weez, and welcome to episode 5 of Certified Hustlers. On this week's show, we got my dad, OG Nick, from Philly. 25th and Diamond Zone. This is a special episode because, you know, it's been a lot of violence in Philly. A lot of young guys, you know, from the age of 14 and up, killing, and, you know, and I don't think they really, really know the consequences. They come, they like when you give, not receive. Like I don't got a family to feed. Fake friends only call when they need. What's up, world? It's Park Ave Weez, and welcome to episode six of Certified Hustlers. On this week's show, we got my girl, Nadia. She has her own shea butter, and the sense is amazing. If you don't know who Nadia is, you definitely gonna know what she is after this after this interview. We out. You gotta believe me. Yeah. I'm exhausted with these fake friends.
he already know where to put you at in the hip hop world. You know what I'm saying? So there's only a few of us yeah. that got our own lane to fuck that lane up. You know what I mean? Because everybody ain't coming to game in the drop top coupe, 50 on each wrist. You know what I mean? I came in the game like that. Doing it, man. You know we don't stop, man. That's why I got you, man. Not for nothing, certified hustler, you know, man. You know, it, it's, it's it's about, man. It's about the the, the grind. You know I mean, you can have a motherfucker that's, you can have a motherfucker that's might be more talented. You know what I mean, but when you work harder than a nigga, man, hard work always motherfucking overcome anything, bro. That's so that's what it is, man. You know, that's what we doing. You know, for the man. Cop up too. Not right. for nothing. Alright, we know what it is, man. Right. 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 Certified hustle. Certified hustle TV. You already know what it is. Right. Back then, like, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all did shit with everybody, man. Yeah, we did it with a lot of niggas. We, uh, beat nuts. Know what he about me, EF, it was so many niggas, you know what I mean? Uh, man, it was just so many niggas. Like, we didn't have star studded producers and like, all our albums and shit, you know what I mean? Because I was really, I was really, it wasn't like no bullshit. Like, I was really getting popped back in the day. So, um, like, what's your, uh, your signature, you know what I mean? Your signature cut, man, you know? You're sharp, you know, you start cutting me, you know, you start cutting, you cut me a couple times, you cut me for the past, you know what I mean? You know, like a couple weeks or whatever, but, um, Shop, like, you know, what's your specialty, man? I like the feed, man, you know, um, I like doing the feeds and stuff, because it's like the lost art, you know, haircut and stuff like that. A lot of people like to do the more dark cuts and the more wild stuff like that. I just always wanted to be something, man, you know, y'all could be whatever, man, it don't matter if y'all, you know, if you're getting in trouble, if y'all still young, y'all could be whatever y'all want to be, whatever you good at, man, whatever you, whatever, everybody got put, you know, everybody good at something, man, you know, so don't let nobody tell you not, so whatever you good at, whatever you just got a passion for, whatever you don't feel like work that you love doing, that's what you need to, you know, say, because I always thought I was going to be a baller, I was going to go to NBA, this and that, so I didn't pay attention to my my callings, you know, whatever. Like I said, 05, I started Little Creek Entertainment. I got the tattoo on me, you know, Little Creek Entertainment. Um, I had these young boys, you know, uh, that was rapping, had them, you know. I managed them, you know, I had them on the label. I could have got them signed. One more young boy I killed. That was like my little brother, yeah, I killed in the street. Um, 05, I, had, I did the music thing for a while. I rap a little bit, you know, but I, I wasn't trying to get no deal from 05. You know, I, 06, I put out a, uh, I did a documentary in 05 about my life. chance to, you know, just to follow their follow they dreams and chase what they got to do, you know what I'm saying, from there, I just, you know, I started throwing the clothing line, so I got the clothing line, you know, Certified Hustler, y'all got Instagram, Certified Hustler gear, all one word on Instagram, been doing that since like 20, 2014 to now, you know, um, I got a movie coming out, me and my team, you know, um, it's going to be on Netflix, you know, uh, I got a TV show I do called Certified Hustler TV, you know, um, I do, um, I, I'm like 13 episodes in, so I just do a lot, man, you know. I'm, um, I found out how to I figure out how to how to get my credit together. So now you know final because they want to be on another show. Right. They don't want a promoter to let them to know that they own this show right. in case they want to get booked to another show. Right. So it's like, oh no, I'm open. 
So book me on your show. I'm letting out too many secrets. I might get no, killed. I, 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 I always, might get killed. I always wanted to know that because you know, with me being a promoter, you know, right. for so long right. from 2010 on, you know, and right. man, you never got to work together, you know, right. but I always, you know, if I was with anything, you, a lot of other guys, you know, OGs that right. Right. really right. came before, you know, all the newer mm -hmm. guys that I was dealing with, okay. you know, but um, I always wanted to know that. Like I said, this is making nasty. I'm like, damn, like, booking these dudes, and these dudes really promoted them. What's up, world? Welcome to episode 15 of Certified Hustlers. Got my man Claudio Solo. Thanks for coming to the show, bro. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me. You no, know, no problem, man. So you know, um, you know, we work together, man. You know, but on top of that, I ain't not heard you saying, you know, we in the yeah. bathroom I'm like damn, bro. You know, it yeah, it was great how it was. You was like, you know, I said, you like, no, I sing for real, you know. So right. checked you out. Definitely doing your thing, man. You know. Yeah. So we gonna start from the beginning, man. You know. Sure, how did you get started, like? Singing and rapping, I don't know, music is like a bad habit for me. You see how right. you got me singing? You saw me singing? Right. I'm always singing right. like, since I was like 10 years old. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like people keep telling me, hey, you got a great voice. You should sing. I'm like, uh, no, nah, I don't think so. Right, right. 